Welcome to D2D Answers, where we answer questions our authors ask about draft to digital Today, we're returning to ask five more commonly asked questions about D2D print. The first question is a pretty common and pretty practical one. What will this cost me? Now, we were made by authors for authors, so we understand that publishing is a business, and indie authors in particular have to be very smart about how they use their budgets. Unlike ebooks, paperbacks do have a physical production cost. Before you invest your time and money into print on demand, you should know what you're expecting to pay. Here's where I can offer some good news. D2D print doesn't require any upfront cost to publish. You'll never have to pay out of pocket to cover your own printing costs. When your book is ordered, the cost of printing and publishing is deducted from your royalties, so you're never going to lose money on selling a book. Now this leads right into the next question. What is my royalty split for print? Print publishing involves a lot of different parties. You have the printers, the retail partners, and teams that manage your listings. All of these teams take a portion of the royalties, and once all is said and done, an author earns 45% of their listing price minus the production costs of the book. To get a better understanding of how this affects your royalties, we do have a print-on-demand calculator on our website if you visit drafttodigital.com slash podcalc. With costs and royalties out of the way, we can move on to the next question, can I order a print proof? Do I have to order one? And what about author copies? Yes, this is three questions. I am cheating a little bit, but they're all related to one another. So you get two bonus questions this week. When you submit your book for publication, before you approve it, you can request to have a print proof sent to you. This is a single copy of your book that you will get to look over physically before you approve the book. Now, if you do choose to order a print proof, you would be ordering a copy at the cost of production, and then there would be a $30 priority charge that includes high priority shipping, so that once your proof is printed, it's sent to you as soon as possible. Please bear in mind, ordering a print proof is optional, so you can always just choose to approve the digital proof of your book and proceed with publishing. Now, once your proof, print or digital, has been approved, you can start ordering author copies at cost, plus shipping based on your selected method and region. Unlike single print proofs, you can order as many copies as you need, so if you're looking to fill a bookshelf with your own book, more power to you. Now that you know how to get your hands on a copy of your own book, we can ask the question, do I have to fulfill orders or handle shipping to readers? Once a copy of your book is purchased by a reader, the retailer that that purchase was made through will process that order, and from there, the print partners will print the book and ship it directly to the reader. You never have to get involved in this process. That said, if you did want to try your hand at sales, that's also your prerogative. Our author copies don't have watermarks or disclaimers, so they're no different from a retail copy of your book. You can always order as many as you want, and do with them as you wish, whether that's selling them independently, using them for giveaways, or placing them on your coffee table to brag about them. We're not going to judge. We've covered most of the commonly asked questions people have about D2D print, but everyone still likes to look forward. So we are also often asked, what features does D2D print hope to add in the future? We have no intention of getting complacent just because we launched D2D Print to our wide user base. There are options and features that we didn't get to launch with that we know are in high demand for our authors. We hear the requests and we're certainly looking into them in the background. Launching new features does take time and resources, and we want to make sure we're working out kinks along the way. We do have a wish list full of options, and we're excited to send them down the production pipeline in the future, so just keep an eye out for news from D2D. In the meantime, I will let you in on some of the features that we're hoping to add in the future. This includes hardcover copies of your book, full color printing, auto formatted large print options, and we are hoping to establish the ability to make print sales on the Smashwords store. Of course, the best laid plans of Mice and Men may often go awry, 
but we're still excited to add more features to our print services in the future. If you have any other questions about DTD print or draft to digital, feel free to ask us in the comments. This has been Lexi Green. Be sure to like and subscribe to draft to digital for more DTD answers.